Hi, we're here today installing Starling Generation 3. We've removed the kickstand. People keep asking how you remove it. What you do is you, you lift the back end up and basically give it a crack. We've got two mounts. This is the modified new one. It's got 20 degrees stamped on it. That's the optimum angle for any Starlink system. Any other angle is not optimum. So that is the one that we're going to fit, which is a 1.5 inch mast. We also have this new one, which we have created with a two inch mast for installers that wish to install on a thicker pole in a windier area. Exactly the same principle. These you can run over with the car and we'll attach a video to prove that. What you do is you take the cable up the mount, out the back, plug the cable in, it clicks, keeping hold of your pole, take the mount forwards, it clicks into place. You then gently slide your dish, your pole down, and what we have is two screws that we tighten up, only needs about one and a half turns, and you're fully tight. This makes a very, very solid fitment into your dish. To remove this, we've improved the back. You put your finger under there, you press there, you lift up, and then you just pull back. So this is the Starlink Generation 3 third-party aftermarket mount made by Starnet Link. And again, there is your 20 degrees, and that is for the 2-inch masts, and then we've got a van full. Hope you enjoyed the video.